Now to a story you'll only see on News 5. Gun violence is happening in far too many Cleveland neighborhoods. People are finding the sound of gunshots has become a daily reality. 53 people killed in gun homicides by mid-May of this year. That is a more than 51% spike from the same time frame in 2020. Now a man from one of the city's toughest neighborhoods is making it his mission to keep kids away from guns by introducing them to art. Here's News 5's Jordan Vandenberg. What is stress? Stress is a feeling being overwhelmed and unable to cope with the mental and emotional pressure. Poetry. Stress is a pain throughout your life. Is a story. When going through stress, you do not feel alive. That's written down. Instead of feeling alive, you feel deprived. In Trayvon Sellers. Wondering if tomorrow you're going to survive. In Dominic Leach. At the age of three, lead poison made me tweak. Have plenty to write about. I had a good life, but it was hard at times. Struggled a little bit. Was, was homeless at a point, but by the grace of God, things eventually got better. My story is you can overcome anything in life as long as you strive for what you truly love and truly care about. Both Sellers and Leach are artists in their prime. Two young men born and bred in a neighborhood that's one of Cleveland's toughest. Down the way projects. But being from down the way, they never strayed away. In the power of rhyme, is why they're here. This poem I wrote is called Lead Poison. I had this real high lead level. Today, Walter Patton's program. Man, what did a lot for me. Create art, not violence, is how. What we do is we help kids overcome their traumatic experiences by using various forms of art, whether it's poetry, film, hip hop, and arts and crafts. Patton grew up in Althwaite and it has been the focus of his outreach. We hear the gunshots, you hear, you see the fight. Since starting the program four years ago. It's so important for me because I didn't have this growing up. The outreach never stops, he says, especially not after a year like 2020. We have 14 homicides, three under the age of 16. And if 2021 is any indication, even more outreach will be needed. Through May 15th, there's been a dramatic increase in the number of homicides and a 68% increase in shootings across the city. The environment comes with untold obstacles, but through art, sellers and leech really changed my life for the better. Have overcome it. It's a lot of stories out there that need to be told. And I just feel like it just you just bloom over time when you t be able to tell a story. You could do something other than, you know, trouble. Poetry is a story. Let's all stand together instead of trying to divide that is written and remembered. Let me clear your head, let's go for a ride. And with no shortage of inspiration. Instead of asking for help, people carry their pride. They will share theirs. Someone once told me sometimes it's better to cry. All you have to do is listen. Jordan Vandenberg. Thank you for listening to my poem here on Channel 5. News 5. And we'll keep on listening. Create Art, Not Violence has an anti-gun violence creative wor uh, writing workshop for teens. It comes up tomorrow night at the Museum of Contemporary Art because of social distancing space is limited.